Hi folks, I just want to take a quick look at recording your mixes in Adobe Audition. Okay, so first of all, let's say I want to change the volume of this clip. I can do it in two ways. I can do it on the clip level, okay? I can add some keyframes so the volume goes up or down. And then, okay, if I move that, okay, the changes go with the clip. Whatever I do to the clip, whatever I move the clip on the timeline, okay, that automation there is part of the clip. Okay, so I'll move that back. And what I'll do is I'll delete these keyframes because, let's click on them, hit backspace. I also have the option, if I click here, just on the uh, bottom of the track, where it says read, I'm gonna open that up. Okay, I can also affect changes on a track level. So if I was to do this, the same kind of thing, all right, like so. If I move the clip, okay, the changes stay this time in the same place on the track because they're not part of the clip, okay? So where, whatever I put in this area here is gonna have that volume dip, okay? So both have got their uses, okay? And, but what I want to show you is just how we can use Audition to record our mixes and then finesse them. Okay, so if I go into my mixer window and what I'll do is I'm just gonna undock this window so we can kind of see it uh, alongside the other window so I'll just make this small smaller here okay so we can see both and uh, what I'm going to do now is I've got this this track here okay and let's say I want to record my mix I can switch this to write okay and now when i hit the space bar uh, it'll record my changes to this slider here we go Oops, down. dips up dips down okay now here's a thing that's i always like to change just to simplify the process because you'll notice here if I zoom in, and I can do so by pressing the plus key, I've got lots of keyframes here. So if I want to make an adjustment to this, I've got a lot to work with, okay? So let's just undo that, and, and I can change this in my preferences. I can go to my preferences in the Audition menu on a Mac, or in the Edit menu on a PC, and I can go to Multitrack, Okay, and here we've got the, at the bottom, on the multi-track settings, we've got interval thinning. Okay, so what it'll do is every 30 seconds, it'll add a keyframe. So if I change that to say 1000 milliseconds rather than 30, so, okay, so you put in whatever number you want, but here we go. So now when I do this, it's much more manageable. So here we go. <laughs> There we are, now I can, got a few keyframes to adjust, makes it a lot easier. And you'll notice there that when I let go, it returned back to the previous position. And that's because after we've been in write mode, it jumps to what's called touch mode, okay? And so that means that if I want to continue with this track, mixing this track, I can play it. And whenever I kind of touch the slider, It'll record my changes and then it'll revert to the previous kind of slider position where it is when I let go. So, I'll, so if I hit this, change this, drop this down, you'll see how our slider now bounces back up. Now there is an, another mode called latch. Okay, and so now if I grab the slider, but when I let go, it remains where I leave it and I can grab it again 
and make a further change. Okay, so there, there it is. So you've got touch mode and latch mode. Okay, so the touch mode, okay, you can see, do that. Play this, drop it down, let go, comes up. There you go, up and down, down and up. Latch, okay, drop it down. It stays where I leave the slider. Okay, so if you want to continue editing, you can kind of decide which one's best for you, touch or latch. Okay, so that's basically what they do. So that's just a little quick one through of some tips for using the uh, sliders here to record your mixes in Adobe Audition. And thanks for watching.